one year since I posted my first video. Uh, since then, we've gained over 5,000 subscribers, reached, you know, over a million people on this channel, and also reached 25 million people uh, on another channel where someone reposted my video. I've gotten some questions over this past year that I'd like to... Uh, question comes from Greenest Ninja. He asks, what instrument is that? So I'm just gonna go over all the instruments because I don't know what video is on. This is a concert C flute. It's an Altus Azumino. Uh, I have a few other flutes, but this is the one that I play most often uh, in most of my videos. Um, it's also one that's the grossest because I beatbox into it. This is a piccolo. Uh, it's just a small flute. It's higher. Uh, it adds a really nice uh, bright tone to a lot of the music that I play. So I use it for stuff like that. Uh, also, it gives me hearing damage sometimes. So if you're ever playing pick, make sure you have hearing protection. This is a, uh, I'll take it out. This is a saxophone. I don't play it much, but I think it was on the Asgore video. So yeah. This is excellent if this is what you're referring to. I don't play it very much because I suck at it. Uh, it also hurts my lips. So how long do the beatbox videos usually take and you should play home from other cows? Okay, so the beatbox videos. They used to be really, really simple. Back when I posted every day, I used to just like knock them out in an hour or two. Now I have multiple camera angles and I have editing and I have the score that I actually have to write. Typically, uh, writing the score takes about eight, nine hours. <laughs> of course, that's not a... That's not in one day, that's in throughout a week or two. But that's just the process of me listening to the music, figuring out the chords, figuring out the melody, figuring out all of the music, uh, transposing that to flute and any other instrument that I want to play. And then, and then I record it, and that typically takes one hour or two hours. Recording, I think, is a lot easier than people think. And then I edit it, which also takes around one or two hours. So. I'm not doing that. Uh, how long have you played the flute for? So I actually started the flute in fourth grade, elementary school band. I played flute and band, thought it was a great, great time. Is there any music score? Okay, good question. Um, yeah, so in all of my videos, I actually write the score to all of the music. Um, I haven't released it yet because I don't know how. I, I have all the files and I have the link, but I can't paste the link in because it's not shared with the person that would be clicking on it. Um, I'll probably start a Patreon. I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, if there's any other way, leave it in the comments and I'll, um, I'll try to see if I can drop the music score there. Yeah, can you play a piece while you're reading this sheet music for the first time? And if so, have you considered doing a stream and taking requests live? So, yeah, I've, I'd have i love to do live streams. I don't think I'm big enough as a channel for that yet, but I would love to play live. I know a lot of people will improvise over backing tracks, and I've been working on my improv. Also, I'd love to live stream the uh, writing process that I do. I do think turtles are bad. I'll tell my turtle, Shelly, your answer. How well can you sight read? Pretty well. I do a lot of competitions. I hate competitions, but I'll get to that in a later video. But I have done a lot of flute music competitions, and one thing they require is sight reading. I used to practice sight reading a lot. Uh, I'm no longer doing as many competitions, so I don't practice as much anymore. But so I read every Sunday for my church orchestra. Um, so I do I do a lot of sight reading. Again, as I said before, I'd love to do sight reading or improv on stream. So yeah, look out for that in the future. I'll probably do it. What is that? Okay, what is that ukulele bass thing you have? I've been waiting for this question for so long. This is my Kali U bass, and it is my favorite instrument that I have. It's got the same range as a normal electric bass, just about. Right, it, I don't know what notes those are, I don't know the notes, I just know tabs. Um, but it has essentially the same range as a normal bass, but it's smaller and it just looks better And it's just it's a beautiful instrument. I love the way it sounds and It's just, just like super super easy to play uh, as opposed to a normal electric bass. I can plug it in look As a whole to plug in even though I don't use it because my amp is really loud um, Yeah, I love this instrument. I think people should play it more uh, go to call it buy yourself a U bass this is pretty cool actually. Do you teach yourself flute or do you have a school band? So, I am in a school band. I'm actually, I've been in a lot of bands. Um, 
I was in my elementary school band uh, and middle school because they were the same. I'm in my high school band. Uh, I played a lot of TYS, TYP, uh, which is essentially just like a, a gathering of people in the area uh, that like to play their instruments. I play with them a lot. I've done all district stuff. Um, I play with my friends sometimes. I have posted some duets and stuff on my channel, but I didn't teach myself flute. I don't recommend teaching yourself flute. I think you should, any more complex instrument like the flute or like any wind instrument, I would say you should get a tutor or you should get some sort of band teacher to help you along the way because there's a lot of intricate things that you need to learn. I'm um, sure fingering technique, just a lot of stuff that you can't really teach yourself online. What brand do you use? Okay, so I play an Altus Azumi flute and I play a pearl piccolo. So I got the piccolo for a great deal off my friend. I've just paid for the flute just new because I don't want to buy a flute from someone else. All right, well, it's um, it's time for a tutorial because y'all have been asking for it. We go over the very basics of beatboxing on the flute, which is the bass kick. It's basically an accentuated letter B. So think of any letter that starts with the letter B and you try to build up pressure behind your lips before enunciating. So instead of going ball, you'd go ball, ball. So you can already see we have a little bit of a kick there. It takes a lot of practice getting the, almost the dexterity that you need. Um, and also just, it's a, it's strength, it's dexterity. It's just the kind of thing where you just have to keep practicing. Um, it won't feel like you're making progress at first, but I would say spend around a day or two. So once you have a good kick, then you can move on to using your flute too. The main thing with beatboxing on the flute is you want to make it two separate processes. So, for example, a lot of people when they're first trying out, they try to do the sound and then play at the same time. The problem with that is it's two different embouchures. So when you're beatboxing, you're going to have a certain mouth shape, and when you're playing the flute, you're going to have a certain mouth shape, and you can't do them at the same time. So to beatbox on the flute, they have to be two separate processes, which is why you're going to start out just beatboxing and then playing a note completely separately, like this. Once you do that, you can just join them closer together. And then as you keep doing it, you'll get closer and closer together to where it almost feels like just one process. That's the kind of thing that you're going to be going for. Obviously, it's not going to be that quick. I, I mean, I probably spent a month or two before uh, I could get something that fluid. But that's really the basics. Now I'm going to walk you through some, some exercises you can do. A great way to practice where you're just going to play a scale and you're going to try to kick uh, every note of the scale. So take like a D major scale for instance. Right, and you can go up two octaves. That helps with the dexterity, it also helps with speed, and it helps with your range because it's easier to get a sound on the lower notes but not as easy on the higher notes. As a little bit of a bonus, I will teach a snare to go with it because it just makes beatboxing much more fun if you can get started and already be able to beatbox simple beats. So the one I'm going to teach is called the K-snare, and it's just you're making a K sound with the back of your tongue on your soft palate. <laughs> just sound like that. It's really simple. Um, it doesn't require you to change your mouth shape as much, so you can actually do it uh, without separating the two processes. Very similar to double tonguing. So to practice this one, you would take a D major scale again and just do the same thing. And so on for the uh, second octave. From there, you can start mixing them together uh, to make beats. You can do really any, you know, any sort of pattern works, and I would, again, I would do it on a single note first, uh, and then move to playing scales. And I would work on that, get that really, really solid, because that's the basis of beatboxing on the flute before you learn any other sounds. Um, yeah, so... That's my tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, again, thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers and a wonderful year on YouTube. Um, and I look forward to another year. Thank you so much.